Hello guys, good afternoon. You are welcome to my YouTube channel, the SPC Tutorials, and my name is Dr. Joseph. In today's video, I'll be taking us PBB 111. So we are still discussing Kidon Protista or Kidon Prototista, as the case may be. You know this Kidon Protista has different divisions. We have treated division Primnice Fighter, and we have treated a uh, division Caro Fighter. Now the divisions we are treating today are one. We are going to be treating crypto fighter all right division crypto fighter now what are the characteristics of this uh, division one they they are flagellated they are flagellated flagellated that is they have what flagella they have two flagella all right they have two flagella unlike the have to fight her, they have three flagella, two for locomotion and one for capturing. So the third one is called what? I have to name her. I told us before. Then two, they are they are flattened. They are what? Flattened. They are flattened. And again, this flagella that they possess uh, emanates from the gullets. Okay, it emerges or they emerge from the gullets. Now. <clears throat> The what is it called now? Around the gullet, round the gullet that is outside the gullet, we have projections called ejectosomes. All right, ejectosomes are restricted to just the cryptophytes. Okay, the cryptophytes have ejectosomes. Please take note of that. They are projections that are found lining the gullet of all these organisms. Number four, they store food as well, starch. They store food as well, starch. Take note of that. They have ejection, they are flattened, and they have what, two flagella. Okay? Then, number five, within the plasma membrane, within the plasma membrane, there are plates, there are colored plates, which appear to be red, brown, and yellow. All right within the cell membrane or the plasma membrane you have colorful red brown and yellow what plates found within the what plasma or what cell membrane number six they have photosynthetic uh, pigments that is pigment that they use for photosynthesis they are the phycocyanin they have phycocyanin and they have uh, phycoerythrin. They have chlorophyll. They have chlorophyll, and they have uh, carotenoid. All right. So these pigments are used by them, but the major ones are the phycocyanin, phycoerythrin, and what carotenoid. Chlorophyll C H C H L O. So please take note of that. I said they are flagellated, they are flagella, they are what flattened, they have house that is externally to the gullet are uh, projections called what ejecto ejectosomes, they store carbohydrate as well starch, and uh, within the plasma membrane or the cell membrane, you have a plate that appears red, brown, and yellow. It is highly colorful. And they have pigments such as phycocyanin, phycoerythrin, carotenoid, and what chlorophyll, which they use for what photosynthesis. Now, the next one we are going to be taking right now is is the division chlorophyta. Division chlorophyta. Division chlorophyta. Please, these organisms that is cryptophytes. They may be they may be found living in fresh water or what marine water, fresh water or what marine water. But the haptophytes they are found living in fresh water and marine water. That is, they are able to withstand the saltiness of what the water. Now the next division is which is number two. Is what the chlorophyta. Chlorophyta. Now chlorophyta. Is the division why the chlorophytes are 
the organisms found in the chlorophyta now these organisms they are they are diverse right they are diverse they are everywhere okay now they will be found living in fresh water fresh water brackish marine all right they will be found living in fresh water brackish water and what marine water they are what diverse okay and they have pigments such as uh, Okay, yes, I just remember something now. When I, I when I told you something about the cryptophyte just now, cryptophytes. Alright, I told that they have phycocyanin, phycoerythrin, carotenoid. The type of chlorophyll they have is chlorophyll A and C. They do not have chlorophyll B, please. The cryptophytes have chlorophyll A and C, carotenoid phycocyanin and phycoerythrin please please take note of that now oh god now the chlorophyte they have a well-formed cellulose cell wall they have a well-formed cellulose wall cell wall and it is what's responsible for their definite what shape now, two, they have pigments such as xanthophyll, they have xanthophyll, they have chlorophyll, they have chlorophyll, and they also have carotenoid. So these are pigments they use for what? Photosynthesis. And again, the, which one again? The stuff food. They store food as starch. They store food as what? Starch. And this chlorophyta, they involve the colonial form. You know the colonial form are the, the Vovox Africana and the Vovox Africana, that is the colonial form, Pandorina willow trips all right these are these okay padorina morum no padorina morum okay so these are the colonial form of organisms found in the division clarifier now this division clarifier also <coughs> houses the filamentous form which is the willow trips Azunata or Lutri Zunata, all right, which means that this division houses both the colonial form and what the filamentous word form. Now, please take note of this Udogonion is a filamentous agate that is whose filament is unbranched, and Udogonion has just one cell, one cell. Is found in what uh, edogonium and it is what filamentous and its filaments are what unbranched that is they are non branched please take note of that and a good opposite is the cladophora the cladophora uh, possess two more than, more than more than one nucleus all right now the edogonium has just one nucleus okay or one cell but the cladophora possess two or more nuclei. Take note of that. Take note of that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, think. Now, what are the the description of this guy? They are, now, they have a cup shaped chloroplast. Okay, let me write it here, please. <clears throat> now, please oh, take note of these features. They have a cup shaped chloroplasts and of course these guys they are what flagellated right they have two flagella and flagellum or flagella are meant for what locomotion okay they are cup, they have cup shaped chloroplast and this chloroplast houses the paranoid and it houses the paranoid and the eye spots 
you know the eye spot is meant for what sensitivity so the pyrenoid and the eye spots are found in a cup shaped what chloroplast because the chloroplast look like what a cup and this cup shaped uh, chloroplast is found surrounded surrounding a centrally located what nucleus all right the nucleus is found at the center and this cup shaped chloroplast is found surrounding it okay and also take note of this beneath the two flagella of these uh, chlorophytes beneath the two flagella you have a pair of contractile vacuum beneath the two flagella you have what a pair of contractile what? vacuum you have a pair of contractile vacuum which means that the chlorof the chlorophyta uh, or the chlorophytes have two contractile what? vacuums a pair of their vacuums which means that a pair is one of them which means together you have what two contractile vacuum the anterior contractile vacuole and the posterior contractile vacuole. Take note of that. <clears throat> now, the most commonly known chlorophytes is, oh God, these markers are bad. The most commonly known chlorophytes is the Chlamydomonas, the Chlamydomonas Reinhardi. All right, Chlamydomonas rinhardi is what I've been describing so far. You also have Chlamydomonas rivalis. All right, so all of these are what chlorophytes. Okay, they are chlorophytes. So let us now discuss the life cycle of this guy. I said they have a pigment for photosynthesis. They have cup-shaped chloroplast that surround the central located what, nucleus and the chloroplast houses the perinoid, the perinoid and what eye spot and the stalk are white as what glycogen please the type of carotene that they have you know I told that they have car carotenoid they have xanthophyll and they have chlorophyll the, that is a major type of carotene is beta carotene all right and because of these features they they behave like what higher plants they behave like higher plants now what is the life cycle of chlamydoman uh, that is chlamydomonas reinhardi of course chlamydomonas i said is the most commonly known chlorophyte okay now uh asexual reproduction of this guy asexual reproduction is by cell division essential reproduction is that what cell division now what happens the first during cell during essential reproduction the first thing that splits is what the nucleus the nucleus will divide followed by the chloroplast then followed by the cytoplasm of the cell during cell division, during ancestral reproduction through cell division, the first that divides is the nucleus, followed by the chloroplast, and finally the cytoplasm. Now, apart from this, there's also fragmentation of filament. There's also what fragmentation of what filament. The process by the filament splits into different what, parts. Now, there's also a type of accessory reproduction. There is also a type of what? Accessory reproduction that results in the formation of what? A zoospore. Alright. Now this zoos, this zoospore is what? A motile ciliated spore. Alright, which means that this this uh, zoos, this zoo spore has the ability to swim because of the presence of what cilia that, is, that it possesses. That is what makes them motile. Now, this zoo spore that, that has been produced will germinate and undergo meiosis.
we germinate and undergo what? Meiosis. Listen, I've seen that the zoom spore, which is ciliated, is produced, it undergoes what? Meiosis. meiosis. During this meiosis, a diploid number of chromosomes is reduced to what? Haploid, haploid number of what? Chromosome. During this process, the diploid number of chromosome reduces to haploid number of what? Chromosomes. Haploid. I said the zoospore has cilia and that is what makes it what? Motile. And it, on, it germinates and undergoes, it undergoes mitos, meiosis, meiosis and not mitosis. To, to reduce the diploid chromosome into what? Haploid chromosome. So this is what? The essential proce processes of what? The chlamydomas what? Rehabi. Now, sexual reproduction. Now, sexual reproduction, the diploid zygotes. This diploid, this zygote that is diploid will undergo what? Meiosis. It will undergo meiosis to produce to produce four haploid zoospore. Hmm. Take note of this. When the diploid uh, entity or chromosome when this zygote that is diploid undergoes meiosis it produces four haploid zoospore now this zoospore has what cilia it has cilia and it swims and develops into what a new organism and secondly okay i think that sexual reproduction is by what uh, cell division okay now during this process uh you know the organism has what the cilia what happens the cilia the flagella sorry not cilia it's flagella Fla during this process the flagella the flagella will what die off or break off as long as the flagella uh, break off now the cell and the cell content will also what disintegrates as soon as the cells disintegrate they will now form two daughter cells two daughter cells now these two daughter cells that have been produced by the breaking off of the flagella under favorable condition these other cells will now produce uh, flagella to flagella again these two other cells that were produced after the breaking off of the flagella and distribution of the cell will now produce another what? Flagella. We produce another flagella. Now, before a new offspring is formed, there's always what? A fertilization process, all right? There's a fusion, there's a fusion to form what? And the fusion that occurs here, the flagella, they are the one occurring as what? Gametes. Right, the flagella are the one occurring as what gametes to form what zygote. So it is that zygote, the diploid zygote that is formed, that is going to into the meiotic division to produce what four haploid zoospore. Conclusively, cell division is by mitosis. Uh, sorry, asexual reproduction is by mitosis or or cell division. During this process, I said that the first that happens is the splitting of the nucleus. Followed by the proto uh, chloroplast and what cytoplasm. Okay, there's also what fragmentation of filaments. And during asexual reproduction, there's only pro production of what zoospore. I said zoospore is a multi ciliated or spore. This spore has the ability to what, swim because of the presence of what cilia. I said asexual reproduction, the zygote undergoes meiotic division, produces what four haploid. Uh, zoospore, four haploid zoospore, please. I don't say that, but I said haploid zoospore.
you know that definitely that meiosis results in formation of what? Four daughter cells. Four daughter cells. But during mitosis, we have two daughter cells. Now, the next one we are going to be taking, the third division is... The third division is the division with Lenophyta. Now the organisms found in Euglenophyta are called Euglenoids. They are called what? Euglenoids. The organisms found in division Euglenophyta are called what? Euglenoids. And the most commonly known Euglenoids are the Euglena, Euglena and what? Facos. And we have different species of Euglena. We have we have the Euglena Arcos. We have the Euglena Arcos. We have the Euglena Rivalis. We have the Euglena. Osiris. These are different species of Euglena. We have Euglena Arcos, Euglena Rivalis, Euglena. Osiris. We also have different species of Facos. We have we have Facos uh, Acumino Acuminatus Acuminatus. We have Facos We have Facos Covicoda and we have Facos uh, longi coda. Right, so these are the different species of facos. Facos acuminatus, we have facos covicoda, and we have facos longi coda. Now, why different species of Iglena are Iglena acos, Iglena rivalis, uh, is it okay? Iglena viridis, sorry. Iglena viridis, Iglena viridis. And Euglena osiris, osiris, okay. So these are the commonly known species of Euglena and of Facos. Now, what are the features of Euglenoids? What are the features of what Euglenoids? Okay. Now, as I'm explaining everything about the Euglenoid, I'm going to be also comparing everything to the Chlorophytes, okay, because they have differences and they have similarity. Now. I told you that the chlorophytes they have a well defined cell membrane. They have a well defined cell membrane. Cell wall, cell wall rather. Please, the Euglenoid, they, they lack true cell wall. They lack true cell wall at their motile stage. The lactose cell wall at what? The motile stage. But outside, outside the protoplasts, outside the protoplast, there's what we call periplasts. Outside the protoplast, there's what we call periplast. Now this periplast is actually firm. It's firm and it makes the euglenoids to change uh, shape as they move which means that the, the 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 cell that makes the euglenon to to change shape while in motion is called what the periplast is called what the periplast now the chlorophyta they have a cup shaped or chloroplast but it is not so in a glenoid the chloroplast in glenoid is disc shape. So they have disc shape chloroplasts. Alright. This disc shape chloroplast houses the paranoid, the paranoid and what? Eye spots. Paranoid and what? Eye spots. And these organisms, they are also. They are immediately found in fresh water. Okay, they are immediately found in fresh water ponds and what lakes, even streams. They are also found there. Okay, uh, which one again? 
They store food. Take notes. They store food as para myelon. But the chlorophytes, they store food as well, starch. The difference between chlorophytes and, uh, and glenoid are one, the chlorophyte is store food as starch, but the glenoids they store food as well, paramelon. The chlorophyte have well defined cell wall, they lack what true cell wall. In the glenoid there's periplast, but the chloroplast they lack what periplast, okay? Uh, in the in, in glenoid, the, the chloroplast is this shaped, but in chloroplast it is what cup shaped. Please, the this parinoid and eye spot, which is sensitive to light, are found in a disc shaped what chloroplast, and they also have what they also have uh, contractile vacuole. Okay, contractile vacuole is meant for osmoregulation. That is, it is used to expel excess water away from the body of what? the organism. So take note of that. Is there any other one? Okay, good. They have photosynthetic pigments. They have photosynthetic what? pigments, such as the carotenoid. They have xanthophyll. And they have what? Chlorophyll too. Chlorophyll. Right, so these are the pigments possessed by the euglenoids. These are the pigments possessed by the euglenoids. So please take note of that. Don't forget that word. A gexome is is possessed by the cryptophyte. The cryptophyte possesses what? Ejection, ejectosomes, which are projections on the gullet. Please take note of that. Is there any other points? Yes, the undergo is a accessory type of production. In this production, is the the undergo this production in form of what mitosis or what cell division. During this process, the whole length of the inguinal wall divide. As now it divides, new org organisms are what formed. So these are all we need to know concerning what the inguinoids. They do not undergo sexual reproduction for now. There's no discovery that the euglenoids undergo a sexual type of reproduction. No, for now we only know a sexual reproduction. So at this point, we call it a day. Don't forget the lateral cell wall at multi stage. They have periplast called what? They have the type of protoplast called what? Periplast, and it is firm and pliable. It makes them to change shape while in motion. Okay, which means that periplast. And answers what polymorphism, polymorphism. Okay, so at this point, we we'll call it a day. Uh, please let us look at the importance of agate. Yes, let me please use this medium to give us the importance of what agate. Now, agate in some countries like Japan, countries like Japan, they use agate as well food. All right, they feed on agate as food. In Japan, and so they they also they are the primary they are the primary producers the primary producers in food web. That primary producer in what food web? Now the diatoms the diatoms serve as food serve as food for fresh water and marine water animals all right they serve as food for other for other animals such as marine and fresh water animals okay now diet diatoms diatoms are also used to make polish Polish toothpaste, toothpaste, and reflective, reflective what paint. So these are the importance of what again. Again, in some countries like Japan, they use it as what food. 
They are the primary producers in the food web in what aquatic environments. Diatoms serve as food for freshwater and marine water animals. And diatom is used to produce what polish, toothpaste, and what reflective paint that is shiny paint. So at this point, the quality day, if you know you have learned something, please endeavor to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Do have a wonderful day.